two people need to drive an inmate out, not one. Uh, thank you for that, Kelly Beeson, reporting for us. You know, two years ago, uh, while Casey was behind bars, he actually made a confession. This is a bit weird. He confessed to a despicable crime that happened back in 2015. It was the home invasion and stabbing death of a 58-year-old woman named Connie Ridgway. Connie's murder had gone unsolved until, for whatever reason, Casey decided to just blab about it, taking credit for it in prison. He, however, pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, and he was awaiting trial for this when suddenly he vanished along with Officer Vicki White on Friday. Uh, Connie had two sons, Austin and Cameron. We've got a picture of them uh, with their mom, um, obviously in, in better days. And so you can imagine what it would be like um, to hear about your mom's alleged killer, these two boys, uh, getting a call to say he's he's escaped. Joining us now is one of those sons, Austin Williams. Austin, thank you for being with me, and I'm so sorry it's under these circumstances. How how was it that you became aware that um, that this inmate had had left the facility um, and had left with a corrections officer? Well, the district attorney called me Friday at 5.30 before the news broke to, to let me know that he had escaped. And I, I didn't have any details then, but I was just, uh, I was completely shocked. Shock, I would say, would be one thing, but I, I would imagine anger uh, would set in thereafter. Is that what happened? Yeah, I mean, I was I mean, quite angry. How in the world is this possible? Was, you know, we waited and waited for five years and struggled to get during a cold case, and he had confessed, and we, we had him. And then all, all of a sudden he, he's gone. He's not just gone by his own power. Someone actually helped him escape. That, that's just even more shocking. Uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. So early in this, and it's only four days old since the two you know, left that sally port on, on Friday morning. But early in this, most people thought that maybe Vicki White um, was doing this against her will and was instead a hostage as opposed to an accomplice. Did you feel one way or the other, are you as surprised as I am tonight when all of a sudden uh, the announcement's made that she's now uh, been charged? Yeah, I'm pretty surprised. I mean, it, it, it sounded really bad. They had, had such a head start and it just seemed like it was a little bit too uh, too easy for him. But I, I was surprised based on what, what everyone had said about her track record, that she's a very good employee, exemplary employee of the year. It's just, it's, what would anybody be doing with, with this guy who's like a level 10 threat? Has anybody reached out to you to apologize or to at least keep you apprised in a different way than, than say, you know, the rest of us, how we find out? Or are you finding out like the rest of us about the details in this, uh, in this escape? I do have contact information for the, the, the sheriff and the district attorney. I haven't reached them because I want them focused on on catching this guy. It's an unfortunate, very unfortunate what happened, but I haven't reached them yet. I've been kind of finding out, kind of like you guys. Do you have a message for Casey White if he's out there somewhere watching tonight? Yeah, I would I would say give yourself up because we're, we're going to find you. Everybody knows knows who you are and, and what you've done, so you, you need to give yourself up as, as soon as possible while there, there's still time and there, there's still hope. Well, listen, um, Austin, I'm so sorry for, you know, A, what you went through with the loss of your mother, and then B, this just added trauma and stress um, with the, the hunt for this, uh, you know, alleged killer. I, I wish you the best, and let's try and keep in touch as they continue this manhunt. Sure, thank you. It, it means a lot. I mean, I used to think I was kind of living in a nightmare. Now I'm starting to wonder if I, if I might wake up tomorrow, but I, I really do appreciate it. It, it, it means a lot. Well, we'll keep that word out. Austin Williams, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.